Hi, welcome back. So we are on day six of the gentle standing series. So today we're doing a variety of exercises. We're gonna start with a short walk and then we are doing exercises for most of the major muscles in our body. Okay, so you need to have a chair and you need to have some hand weights um, just for a few of the exercises. Don't worry, I'm not gonna push you too hard. I realize this is a gentle series and I want you to work at the pace that works best for you. Okay, but we do wanna get some resistance in, so grab some weights or water bottles, that's totally fine too, that'll work just the same. All right, let's get started. Okay, we're just gonna get started with a gentle walk. So finding a pace that works for you, bringing the arms into it. So we're just warming up for the first five minutes just to get ready for the strength training portion of the class. All right, let's bring our heels forward. So just gently tapping the heels, bringing the hands slightly forward. And going back into a gentle march. So I'm excited to do today's class. It's a little bit different. I've got some new exercises for you. Ones that are geared to work on strengthening those muscles. And let's just bring our feet out to the side. So tapping to the side. Working on your balance here as well. Going back into a march. So if I'm going too fast, just slow it down for yourself. Okay, let's tap those toes in front, bringing an arm forward. So just gently tapping. We're gonna go back into our march in a few seconds. Okay. So for the next one, we'll bring our foot back. So we'll tap back, bring an arm forward. So if you can, opposite foot, opposite arm. Okay, so we let's go. So opposite, press. A little bit more. And back into our march. Tap those toes out to the side again. Okay, let's go. So tap out, let's bring an arm across. So just gently, we're not trying to get in a big cardio workout here. This is just a bit of a warm up. Swinging those arms, loosening up the arms. Back into a march. So thanks for joining me today. Um, please definitely write something in the comments. Let me know what you like about the class. Or if there's anything you want to see in future classes, I would really appreciate hearing about it as well, what works for you. And if you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe. It'll allow you to see future videos. Okay, let's kick forward. So kick forward. So just a gentle kick. Again, finding your pace. Going back into a march. Got about a minute and a half left of our warm up. We're going to tap the toes out to the side again. All right, tap out to the side. Bringing the arms into it. Back into our march. All right, we're gonna bring our feet back again for the next one, pressing our arms forward. Let's do double arms this time. Okay, so pressing back, pushing forward. Going back into our march. 
and here we go. One more exercise and then we're gonna go into the other strength training. Okay, so heels forward, continuing to press those arms forward. Let's do this for 15 more seconds. And we've done our full five minute warm up. Okay, all right, relax your arms, uh, relax your feet. Now we are going to do some sit to stands. So I'm going to turn my chair to the side so you can see exactly what I'm doing. Most of you know how to do these by now with me. So in front of your chair, we're just gonna do five, okay? So sitting down, not putting all your weight in the chair, just allowing yourself to kind of touch the chair, come up again. So this is two. If you need to, you can have your hands at the side here. So if you need to, you can press up using your hands. But if you're able to do it, allow your legs to do the work. And last one. Excellent. Okay, so we are going to work the shoulders. Now it's up to you if you wanna use weights or not. Um, I'm going to do it without weights just because a lot of people will probably be wanting to start without them seeing as this is the gentle series. Okay, so we're going to bring our arms out to the side again. Third time, this time you are going forward. So one, two, three. Now we're doing a bicep curl, press over the head, back to the shoulders and down. Bicep curl. Press to the shoulders and down. Now let's go out to the side again. Lateral raise, bring your feet shoulder width apart. Lateral raise one more time. Going front, so forward. One, two, three. Doing a bicep curl, pressing overhead. Two more like that. Bicep, press. Last bicep and press. We're gonna do that one more time out to the side. One, two, and three, going forward. One, two, three, a bicep curl. Press overhead to the shoulders and down. This is two, We've got one more. Excellent. Okay, shake those arms out. Loosen those arms up. Move the legs around a little bit. Okay, now we are going to work more on the back. So, if you need to at any time during this class, you can sit down. You can continue to do these exercises sitting. So, I just want to give you that challenge of standing since it is a standing series. But if you're a beginner, which most of you are in this series, then you can sit down when you need to. Okay, so you can. Do it, uh, like just follow along at the same time. Okay, so whether you're sitting or standing, arms are here at the side. Okay, we're just gonna bring our arms out to the side. We're gonna row forward. Now I want you to think about pulling back. Now we're just gonna go back a bit. So we're just bringing those arms back. It's as if you're squeezing a bottle in between your shoulder blades. So squeeze and then relax. Bring your arms back down. So up, press. Pull. Now pull back as a squeeze in that water bottle. Relax and down. So up, press, back. Now squeeze that water bottle, water bottle in between your shoulder blades. Relax and down. Again, forward, pull. Pull back further. Relax and down. Again, up. Press out, now pull back, and then squeeze that water bottle, hold. Three, two, one, relax, and down. Up, press, pull. Now squeeze that water bottle, hold. Three, two, one, relax, down. Again, up, press, pull, and squeeze that water bottle, relax, and down, let's do one more. Up, 
press, pull, now squeeze back, three, two, one, relax, and down. Nice work. Okay, bring those arms back and forth. Loosen that up again. All right, back to our sit to stands. So grab your chair. For you, for everyone at home, just have your chair in one place. You don't have to keep moving it back and forth. I simply am just to show you what I'm doing. So have the chair there, feet are shoulder width apart, sitting down, don't put all your weight down, come back up. That's one. Two, so when you stand up, think of pressing through your heels. So press and down. Press through those heels. Last one, press through those heels and come up. Excellent, okay, uh, for the next one, we are using our chair. I find it really difficult to find appropriate exercises um, for your chest without using a wall or the floor. So I'm trying to, I wanna provide ones that are appropriate for at this level. Okay, so sitting in your chair, now you can see how I'm on the edge of my chair. We're gonna lean back into the chair. So back is flat, leaning into the chair. Arms are, are up ahead. So bringing them back here, pressing. So that's one. So you don't need a very heavy weight. Find the weight that is best for you. You can use water bottles here. This is three. Four. Five. Six and two more, seven and eight. Now we're still gonna do one more for the chest. So keeping those arms up, you're gonna bring that, you're gonna have a slight bend in your elbows. You're bringing that weight down and then back up. So down, as far down as you can, that's comfortable. And then bring them back up. So my arm is not really moving from that position. So it's in a little bit of a bent position at my elbows. I'm bringing it down, then back up again, staying in that same arm position. And we've got two more. So if you can't use weights yet, that is totally okay. Just do it without weights and you'll get there eventually. Just keep working at it. Okay, bring the weight to your chest, sit back up. And we're gonna do an ab exercise here right away. So having that weight at your chest or your hands at your chest, depending on, on if you're using weights or not, lean back into the chair and then pull yourself back up. So that's one. So working our abs here. Two. Three. I'm breathing out on the way up. Four. Five, let's just do one more, and six, excellent. Okay, so standing up, you don't need your chair for the next one. We're gonna do our tricep press. So with this one, if you have weights, that would be great. Feet are shoulder width apart, different levels here. You can do it seated if you want. You can do exactly the same thing seated. If you're standing, I just want you to lean over a little bit, so not bending your back. You're just hinging at the hips, coming a little bit forward. Elbows are up, weights are at the shoulders, and pressing back, hold for three, two, one. Bring the weight back to the shoulder. Now bring it back again. Three, two, one. Back to the shoulder and press back. Three, two, one. Pressing back, so squeezing the back of your arms. Back to the shoulder, squeeze. Back to the shoulder, squeeze. We're gonna do two more. Squeeze and hold, three, two, one. Back again, last one, three, two, one, nice. Okay, so we're gonna put those weights down. We're doing our sit to stands again. I know I'm making you do lots, but uh, I want your legs to get stronger. Okay, so sitting down, this is one, and up. Two. Three. 
two more. Four. And the last one, five. Excellent. Okay, so uh, calf raise. So having the chair handy, you are going to just hold on to the back of the chair. We are going to lift our heels as high as we can. So lift up, bring them down. Now try and bring those toes up a little bit. Again, heels up as high as you can. Bring them down, toes up. So when you bring your heels down, you're bringing them down slowly. So right now my heels are up. Now control as you bring your heels down, toes are up. Again, heels and toes. Heels slowly down. We're gonna do two more of this one. So heels up as high as you can and toes. Last one. And toes. Excellent. Okay, let's get the chair out of the way unless you want to use it for the next exercise. So uh, we do need weights again, if you if you can. So grab onto those weights. We're going to do um, exercises for the biceps and then you are done. Okay, so bringing the uh, weight up, we're going to do a hammer curl. So one, two, three. Now we are going to turn the weight. We're going to go at, at an angle to the side. So one, two, three. Back to hammer curl. One, two, three. Back to angles. One. So really squeeze those biceps as you bring the weight up. Back to the front. Last time. One, two, three, back out to the side. One, two, three. Your last exercise, you are going to go halfway up, all the way down. Halfway up, all the way down. Three, four, five. Now this time I want you to bring the weight all the way up to your shoulder. Halfway down, all the way up. Two, three, four, five. This is your last one. We're doing five full ones now. All the way up, all the way down. Control on the way down. Two, three, four, last one, five. All right. So that is it for today. I try and keep all of these classes for the gentle series around 15 minutes. I hope it worked for you. You continue to do those exercises and you will get stronger. Whether you use weights or not, that is, it's totally whatever works for you at this point um, until you build some more strength and then you'll be able to do more. Okay, thank you for joining me. If you wanna do a stretching class, I have lots of stretching classes or a, a few stretching classes available. Um, there is one that's about 10 minutes, so that might be appropriate or suitable for you. And uh, just look in the playlist or I'll put it up in the, in the corner here for you so you can see it. Thank you so much for joining me. I will see you for the next class, uh, our last class of this series, and it'll be a walking class. Okay, see you then. Bye for now.